Welcome back, guys, to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm your host, Blue Mage 319 and uh, we gotta get the hell off of this train, okay? Because we got ghosts, all right, uh, impresarios, <clears throat> guys that think they're really tough, but really aren't really that tough. You take off like three damage. I mean, it's just a terrible place. You know, just to t I think this is a... There's nothing in that room right there. Uh, are you... I want to stop the train? Just use the controls in the engineer's compartment. That's the impresario? I thought he was on the other side of the train. Like, the, the part of the train that we, like, you know, unhitched. Oh, man. Ghostly stuff. Oh, look at that. Goods. All right, got a phoenix down. And the sniper sight. That is a relic. Um... Got another phoenix down. That's a relic that um, allows you to have, I think, yeah, 100% hit rate, uh, which can be useful. Oh, monster in a box. Yeah, I don't really know if it uh, if it's affected by the blind status, uh, because what I've heard in this game is that blind is, is actually bugged. And, um, yeah, let's move over to sword tech. And since this guy, this guy actually has a lot of HP, we want to use our slash technique, but... Yeah, what I was saying was, I don't really un know if that is affected, if like, if you have the sniper scope on, or the sniper sight, um, on if it, if it like, affects that, you know, because I know that, I've heard there's bugs in this game, we've got a hyper wrist, and, you know, I don't know, 100% hit rate, uh, that could be useless, because I've heard that the blind status is, you know, bugged, and now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever missed an attack in this game, like a physical attack. I, I really don't know if I've ever done that. All right, now see, uh, the ghost leaves here. I, I was going to demonstrate um, what he can, how you can possess, um, possess enemies with that little command, but I just wanted to show you this little dumb, pointless thing. This is my fourth time recording this. Uh, I've had nothing but in interruptions all day. And uh, here's a save point. And I'm not going to talk about that anymore because you guys are here to play the game. You guys aren't here to hear me go on about nothing. So let's see. Um, okay, we got these same, same enemies as usual. We use a shuriken. That's a nasty attack right there. Look at that. Um, that, I think, came from the ha the Whisper, not the Hazer. So, it can be pretty bad if, let's say, you only have, like, 100 HP or something like that. And now, I don't, I don't even, I didn't even catch, like, the title of, of, or the name of that attack. So, it might, I mean, if it's a Demi kind of attack, like a, a gravity-based attack, it won't kill you. But, it seems that it takes off 144, that's... I don't know. It might it might just split your HP in half. But uh, anyways, let's get to the uh, the front part of the train here. This is the engineer's room. Got to stop this thing, huh? Something over here. Something's written here. What? What? Stop the train. Shut the first and third pressure pressure valves and operate the switch outside near the smokestack. All right. What they mean is you do this and you do this. Ba -ba -ba. Yep. So, I mean, there's nowhere else to go right now. I mean, here's the smokestack right here. No, right here. Press this switch and the train will stop. Well, I guess that's it. All we got to do now is phantom train. So you've been slowing my progress. Nah. We don't. We're not going to. Nah. Maybe some ghost captain or something like that. You know, like we're not going to fight the. Okay. I'm gonna fight the train. <clears throat> I, I I get it. I dig it. I dig the funk. Uh, I want to use a potion right now on Savin. Uh, let's uh, let's go over to or Cyan. Let's go and use our slash technique. It's gonna take a little bit, but um, there we go. Um, and uh, let's go to Blitz Triangle Square Down Up X. Oh, good looking out, buddy. Wow, I've never had him, uh, I've never had the, the, the dog use Wild Fang or, or whatever on the, um, on the train before, but yes, we can suplex the train. Awesome. That is so cool. I, I don't, I don't know, I, I, 
well, how I know that it, it says in the guide that you can actually um, use a suplex on the um, on the boss, and uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool thing right there. <laughs> but um, as for the Wild Fang uh, or the the Interceptor coming in and taking off 910 damage, I've never had that happen. I mean, I've had him um, come and one shot Siegfried a couple times, but uh, I, I don't know. I've never seen him. Uh, go up against the train before, and uh, he just to let you know. I, I mean, he does that train has a has a move called Acid Rain, which can kind of do some nasty damage. So you wanna you wanna dispatch him as as quickly as possible. You know. Um, so look at that Phantom Train isn't so mean after all. Even though he was trying to run us over, you know, he's gonna let us go. That's awesome good old phantom train i think we'll use his services again sometime no i'm joking where are we hey listen old man no worries okay everything's fine no um something's this scene right up here is something's not too good right here that it actually made me a little sad the first time i played this game there's a, a one little bit of the scene that definitely bro almost made me cry i'm serious but, you know, after playing the game a couple times, it's... What was that? Yeah. Well, if you don't recognize those two sprites right there with the red, that is, uh, indeed... Yeah, that is Cyan's wife, Elaine, and son, Owain. And this part right here, like I said, is... I mean, I gotta say that... This is really not a fun scene for me when I was playing it as a younger lad. Runs this part right here. Like when he's like running around trying to like... Like that part. I don't know why. It just didn't like that scene at all. <clears throat> so yeah, his uh... My love, you made me so happy. Dad, I'll make sure mom's alright. That right there... It, as a kid, it made me sad, but, you know, after playing the game a couple times, it's, you know, it's not that bad, but I tend to, to, you know, get really into the game, and hopefully you guys do, too. That's how you enjoy it the best. You know, you remember these things, these things. Leave him alone. Sabin. Cyan. Guess he doesn't want to talk. Hey, man. I'm sorry, bro. I hope you feel better. Damn. Ah, <sighs> man, that was a that was quite a scene. Now, um, when I was younger, at least, <laughs> I'm sure it's just normal crap to you guys. But uh, you know what I'm gonna do here, guys? Because now that we're on the overworld, or you know, the overworld, that's what I've always called these things. I want to remove every single thing that this shadow character has. I'm talking relics, I'm talking equipment, everything. You don't need his, his knife, but whatever. You know. So um, let's go ahead and, and uh, take the earrings off of um, Sabin, uh, and replace them with the running shoes. Because now that, like I said, now that we're on, in the overworld, we um, Shadow is going back to his uh, you know percentage of leaving the party, where he has like a one out of 16 percent chance of leaving the um the party and you want to make sure that uh well, i'm not trying to spoil anything but just just remove his equipment okay because it it's just gonna make things a lot easier um you know he could he could do fine without it without anything else but um let's see before we go all the way up here, I want to make sure that everybody is uh, nice and healed. Let's see, we've got tonics. That's why I bought them. Um, there we go. I know that really wasn't that use useful, but whatever. They're tonics. They're very cheap. So I can't get enough of that show, uh, Super Mario Brothers Super Show. It's such a great show. But uh, ah, this must be Baron Falls. To the south is the Velt. There are dangerous creatures there, and the Empire's right on our tails. If we can slip through the Velt, we can reach the town of Mobley's to the east. And this is where the ninja parts. I have served my purpose. Hey, Shadow! 
Thanks for your help. Let's join ranks again sometime. That won't be the last time we see good old Shadow. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I said, we got all of our equipment down nicely. Uh, oh, one more thing. Um, let's give uh, the Mithril Shield to... Um, uh, what's his name? Sabin. And, um... Panda. Yeah, let's give the Green Beret to, um... Hang on. Yeah, we're gonna give the Green Beret, which you should have one. Give it to, uh, Cyan. Everything's good there. Alright, let's, uh, take a jump. Why not? Come on. No reason why we shouldn't. Yahoo! What? Is that a is that a battle? Well, yes. This is the waterfall sequence, <laughs> if you if you could call it that. Uh, we basically just got to fight these piranhas on the way down. Uh, apparently, this the Baron Falls isn't just a waterfall; it has some monsters in it, and that is a nasty looking piranha, I must say. You just want to basically do what we've been doing for the last couple episodes, and that's Orabolt. Um, and, uh, Dispatch. I don't know if you could suplex these guys. I'm sure you could pummel them if you really wanted to, but, you know, I really just... When you look at the, the damage that Orabolt does, Orabolt is going to be your friend for... I don't want to say the whole game, but, yeah. It, basically the whole game. It's an amazing blitz technique that... You know, uh, just like Cyan learns uh, new sword techs as we level up and, and go through certain parts of the game, uh, Sabin does the same thing. He will learn new blitz techniques. And I think you'll get a notification at, like, the end of the episode, or at the, at the end of, like, a battle. It'll say, Cyan learned this, or Sabin learned this. So, I wasn't quite sure how exactly that worked. But, anyways, let's just keep hammering away at these fish piranhas I mean we're gonna have to get to the bottom sometime you know it's not like they're gonna be there all the time or bolt is like I said uh, kind of a hard um, hard blitz to execute I've said that a couple times but whoa that's different color right there probably has yeah he probably has a little bit of HP so I don't know if maybe I don't think we can use slash on him I think actually he is yeah he is immune to that. I just wanted to show you that. Just because a enemy has a lot of HP doesn't quite mean that he's, you know, basically susceptible to um, gravity-based moves, like Demi or whatever. Um, in fact, a lot of a lot of enemies in this game are immune to gravity slash uh, Demi-based spells. So, you got... That really isn't that cool. I, I don't like that, but, you know... The, the, they they kind of like realized. I think it was after Final Fantasy V or one of the earlier ones that you know we gotta we gotta leave some <laughs> characters and or some enemies that you know are are you know immune to these moves because they're just so bad. You know, they're powerful. Like you could basically cut a quarter of the boss's HP. You know, like that's kind of unfair. You know, F not for us, but anyways, um, here we go. We are. Uh, I wonder if this, you know, I remember that old man uh, in the cabin when uh, it was it was just Sabin um, in the cabin. <laughs> no, just the Sabin uh, went up to this old guy in this weird cabin and and uh, he said something about the Velt. Anyways, who's this little guy? I think uh, he looks kind of like like a caveman or something. Uh oh, really? Draped in monster hides, eyes shining with intelligence, a youth surviving against all odds. And the character I've been kind of like alluding to is Gaw. Now, Gaw or Gao, whatever, however you want to pronounce it, um, because I mean I used to pronounce it Gao, but I just think it is, but it is Gaw. You know, that's probably how you pronounce it. So, um, let's just uh, go on. And uh, this this is the character I've been referring to as like a cave boy, who has kind of you know important an important part of this game, uh, and uh, 
You'll see why in a second. Now, apparently he lives um, on this place, the Velt. Ooh, wow, they got different music and everything. Look at that. Huh. I wonder... Well, you know what? I'll just tell you. Let's just head east to Mobley's. And um, you'll notice something about the Velt very quickly. And that is... Uh, we, we don't really want to keep doing battles here. Because if you notice, these battles are enemies that, and formations that we fought in the past. And that is because all of the enemies we've fought, all those formations I've told you to get with Rodox and, you know, just other enemies, uh, I really just, you know, kind of uh, specified for you to, uh, to get the Rodox for now. But they all end up here. Now, you basically, all those enemies that you fought, you can run into them here. And that's going to be important when we, you know, learn a little bit more about this Gaw character. Because, um, you know, he's not a blue mage. He's more like a berserker. But he has, like, a, a certain cool thing about him that I don't want to get too far into yet. Because, you know, um, you will run into him uh, again. You know, you'll see him again. We did name him. So he is uh, maybe even a character that we're going to have. No, he is a character that we're going to have. I don't want to, you know, blow too much smoke up your rear end <laughs> that's i remember someone said that to me once and I, it just sounded so funny because it's i just imagined like a smoke stack you know like a um like a boat with a big smoke stack coming out of it and just your butt right there you know okay all right that's a that's a, a enough dumb crap from matt um yeah ooh, 629 gp that's pretty nice all right, well, let's just go to this town right here. This is the town of Mobley's. And um, before anything, I want to do something. Now, um, let's see. We got an inn right here. There's a item or a, what do you call it, shop. Uh, here's the item shop. You had the armor and the, the weapon shop on the left down there. But what I want to do here is I want to go to the item shop and I want to buy, let's, let's buy two dry meats. It really doesn't matter, but all you need is one. <laughs> so let's let's go let's get out of the town again, and we'll talk to all these uh, NPCs, you know, in a little bit. So no worries. But let's go back to the Velt. Oh, look at that battle. So again, these are enemies that you fought in the past, and like enemies like let's say the Telstar, who you know always drop green berets pretty nice because you can run into them and they'll still drop a green beret for you and that is still a nice piece of headgear um it actually it actually has a hp boost uh where it actually raises your hp a little bit so uh, i missed that one yeah now just like the enemies in the that we fought earlier these enemies will still kill you you know so you know they still have damage pretty pretty nasty uh you know damage that they can deal and um that's about that so let's just kill this one enemy right here and oh look at that whoa don't hurt this guy okay he's your friend oh he's hungry then let's go to item get the dried meat use it on on uh gaw there whoa yeah Super Metal Ultra Gaw. <laughs> I love this. What the? Thou art so odd. <laughs> Cyan. I'm Cyan, and he's Sabin. You Sabin, you Cyan. Me want more food. Hey, no more for you. No more soup for you! <laughs> oh man. Oh man, that's the first thing I thought about. <laughs> You go, get more for me. Hey, you're a regular munchkin. <laughs> and you, afraid of me? Uh, you want to fight? Me not wanting to hurt you? Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> oh, <Aww, they're> just... <laughs> I love this. I love this part. <sighs> you're pretty tough. Waha. That fun. You strong. 
Oh, I love God. He's so cool. He's a kid, by the way. He's not. He's not a. He's not a grown up, grown man. Um, he's he's a young guy, young young kid, maybe 10, 11, something like that. Shut up. Listen, guys. Simmer down, sir, <laughs> sirs. And thou, O oh wild one, who might thou be? Thou. Thou. Thou, thou, thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. Thou, thou. <laughs> you angry? <laughs> Cyan, you angry me? Oh, look at him. <laughs> Cyan, you angry me. Cyan, you angry me? Listen, man. His family was just... Me understand. Me sorry. Me not mean person. Look, we can't have ye, ye two prancing around all day. Gal, or ga, I think we're going to get on well together. Why don't you join us? Ah, I give you present. Ga give nice gift and thanks for food. What manner of rubbish do you suppose he's gonna... God's treasure. Shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Can anything be that shiny? <laughs> Does Mr. Thou like shiny thing? Mr. Thou is that one over there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He, even Savin is now starting to, to act like him. How jealous Locke's gonna be when he hears about this. Who be Locke? He bad man? Maybe he try steal my treasure. Locke. Well, he's... Listen, when someone's talking to you, I think he's trying to tell us something. <laughs> er, Alright, carry on. Here, here. Shiny thing here. Seven. Place where you buy food. It's called Mobley's. Cyan. Place where you stand. River brought you there. Now we go to Crescent Mountain. Shiny thing there. Okay. Look, let's just go along with him to this Crescent Mountain place, and who knows, maybe he'll have that treasure for us. I know, Savin, is pretty... Now you got two crazy people to deal with. Why'd we invite him along anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him walking back. Mr. Thou, hurry up. <laughs> We're leaving. Hey, I told you once, I'm not Mr. Thou. Well, here we go. Nice little guy who wants to tell us about Ga. Here's how to build up Ga's skills. One, choose Leap, a command that only appears when you are on the Velt. Right? Keep fighting on the re uh, keep fighting, and Ga will reappear. He'll have learned the attacks of the monster you were fighting when he leaped and returned. Ugh. Ugh. Choose the command rage and you can use any of the attacks he's learned. And now, please continue your quest. Thank you. Alright, thank you very much. Oh, you fell. You fell. Might want to get up there. Yeah. I wish I could get, get uh, just move through that, that, um, that, uh, see, scene right there. It's kind of dumb. But anyways, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to call it here, guys, uh, but... Just know that we got one of the best characters in the game right now. His name is Gaw. And uh, the the skills that he uses are basically... Um, they're not blue mage skills or, or blue magic or, you know, um, enemy skill. But they are that. They are skills that the enemies, you know, have. That you now will have access to. But the thing is, when you use what is called a rage... Which is this... Okay, we, it com he comes with a couple of them. These are the the, the you know the enemies that we fought. Um, it just comes with it. Um, when you let's say you're in battle and you use one of these rages, you do you don't have control over Ga anymore. But don't worry, you're gonna love the stuff that he can do. So I'm gonna call it here, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, next time on um, Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, we got a lot to do. Uh, we're gonna visit the town and uh, we're gonna learn some new rages for Ga. So. Take care. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later.